this is this all, is this in the um, podcast? Yeah, oh, massive is down in the podcast. Good, 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 good. <laughs> okay, all right, all one to five, yeah. All right, oh yeah. Three, two, one. Hello guys, welcome to the Off The Field podcast, episode number five with myself, George and Louis. How are you doing, mate? I'm good, man. How are you? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. And we're joined by our friend Chris this week for our yeah, Euro, Euro 2021 special. How are you doing, Chris? Hello. I'm good, thanks. Thanks for having me on today, guys. He's good. No heard about how, you know, absolutely how useless Wales are. It's going to be class. Yeah. Can't wait. They can't do football or rugby. It's a real nice house. I'll leave it out. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's that's a good a good topic actually. We'll, we can talk about this weekend if you like, Chris. No, I think I think I'll pass on that one. Too. Oh yeah, and then yeah, Carly for the biggest team in Wales as well. <laughs> uh, well you can't really say that, that Louis, mate. You can't you can't say that. It was it was one 0 We both won one game this season. So draw. Sure. We're we're above them in the league, so that's settled it. That's settled it. It was just a glass poor. Oh, no, it was, it was a it was a very and disappointing week. Team who claim who claim to be really playing the Premier League losing to Cardiff. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say that again. <laughs> team who claim to be really playing the Premier League losing to Cardiff. That's poor. It's just yeah, it's not acceptable, mate. We felt bad. We've been nice, nice neighbours. We thought give them a win. They need a win. They've been on poor form, so make it more challenging because uh, teams like. Adam Norwich, like they're just boring. They're just boring. <laughs> they just, what they do is they, they they go up to the Premier League, pretend they're all good, getting all these points, and then next year they're not fun. But all we do is we want to make a challenge. We know we're going to go up this season. We're just making it challenging. All right, That's there we have it. Money. There we have it. Adam's clicked off the video. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Sending shots already. Also getting more money through like the playoffs, going to Wembley, all of that jazz. So. Yeah, you're just you're, you're just like you know tricking everyone into thinking that you're actually going for the title, but you're actually just going to win the playoffs instead. Exactly, day off at day out at Wembley. That's what you're there for. Exactly, yeah. day out at Wembley. We, the thing is, we're doing too well, so then we had to recently <laughs> just start losing a few games, so we dropped back down to the playoffs. It's tactical genius. Yeah, that was a bit. That was a bit like us at Chelsea, wasn't it, Lou? You know. Yeah, we we, yeah. we we sort of do it at the top four race. We we we, you know, we lose against teams like Bournemouth. And things like that, just to make it, make it seem fun. We already finished fourth in, you know, third, second, or the first. You know, it's boring. But you know, we're winning the Champions League this year, so you know, it's fine. I'm going to the FA Cup. You, 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 you trying to get tickets then? I've seen. I've seen I, will, I will. I will get tickets. I don't care what I have to do. I'll. I'll. I'll, I'll do something legal. I have to. <laughs> right, I'll, I'll commit some sort. Of, yeah. I will. I will be. There. Even if it's behind closed doors, I'll sneak in. You know, these YouTubers who do sneak into things. I'll 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 do a, a video around that, you know. Just I'll put it up as well. Uh, <laughs> I'll put it up on the website. The, now, part, now the, part of the uh, uni assignment. Now the now the millions <laughs> of people that are watching the podcast now know you're gonna do that, Lee. How are you gonna get away with it? <laughs> I'll just I'll just blame. I'll say I'm William or something. I'll just start for Chelsea again. You know. Does that really? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, I just pretend you don't deal. speak English and you're like Brazilian or something. They're like weird walkie dogs, like drag his feet. Yeah, <laughs> like gone. And then they like, prove it's Woody, and I'll give me a ball, I'll do a few step overs and hit the cross into Rosette. It's fine. You know. <laughs> oh, dear. So. I, I, we're winning it. I'm telling you, we're winning it. No, I, I, I reckon you've got a chance. I reckon you can do it. Like. But more than a chance of winning it. Oh, like, man. Brian, <laughs> Man City, what kind of. They're just, they're just beat their football teams. Chris, did you watch our game against football. Atletico? Um, no, I can't say I did to be honest. Um, oh, this is unacceptable. I think it was, it was same day as um, Championship. It was last week, wasn't it? So, Championship takes priority these days, but. <laughs> Watching Chelsea, the most of it. No, no, no. <laughs> did you, did you watch us against Sheffield United, Chris? Oh, no, no, I didn't actually. I didn't see oh, that. I didn't, oh, he's, he's on the ropes already. He's on the ropes. <laughs> mate, mate, after Saturday night, I, I had enough of sport. I, I literally <laughs> didn't, didn't watch a thing on Saturday, at Sunday. I was like, I can't, di- can't deal with it. just can't do it. So I had a break. But I'm back stronger now today for the podcast. Back stronger, but, that's what I like to hear. But, but, now, but now I realise I won't be able to actually give much insight. 
because <laughs> I had a, had enough after half a Saturday. But no, I did I did see your first leg with Atletico, and um, it was it was that first goal was a bit controversial, wasn't it? It was um, working out whether it was offside or not. Yeah, they couldn't work out if Mount touched it or I think it was like Hermoso just kicked it behind him. But in fact, Mount never touched it, and you know, Sharu with just the casual bicycle kick. I mean, we're, we're and you've got such a good draw, haven't you? Porto. Yeah. Porto and then either Real or Liverpool. We're, and Real, well, Real, Madrid aren't Real Madrid anymore, really, are they? And Liverpool have been a bit. Well, yeah, you've got the two two like good teams that are struggling this season. Like, by name, Real Madrid and Liverpool, you'd think they're good. But, um... Yeah, we should be in that final. The, the issue is, though, in all seriousness, though, beating City or Bayern is going to be... Uh, it's be difficult. Problem. It'd be extremely difficult. I'd rather play City than Bayern. Oh, could you imagine we win the Champions League and then England win the Euros? Well, England not going to win the Euros, mate. So you won't uh, be able to yeah. imagine. Uh, like, honestly, <laughs> that, that would be man. There'd be so many just there'd be so many people in hospital. Liver failure. You know that Chelsea fans. Like <laughs> yourself, uh, and you know just be <laughs> just liver failure. Just be everywhere. <laughs> Just be you drinking for a week. <laughs> or in a week. If we win the Champions League, I'll be drinking for a month. Non-stop, mate. All year round. You've got the trophy until passes it on. But yeah. you know... You know... <laughs> June till June. <laughs> <laughs> Constant. Get another Come pandemic mate. going around next year, June time, and then you're holding the trophy for a bit longer. Happy days. Oh, massively. I'm oh, massively. <laughs> well, go, to, go to China and have a bat. talking of the euros and drinking you may ask how we've managed to make this episode about beer and football but somehow we've done it haven't we Louis? we always do it anyway (laughs) for episode one we've been drinking beer i mean it was that one week i had a few a few walkers but that's just talk about that (laughs) yeah awful we yeah, we won't talk about it we have we, we have three three brands of beer well i actually have three Brand beer from the countries are supposed to be from, like some people here. But we I have, don't know who he's talking about, really. But we have three beers from three different countries. So we've got the winner, the team against people going to win. We've got the team we think is going to be the biggest shock, biggest surprise, and then we've got a team who is going to flop. Um, I'm going to I'm going to shoot straight in there. With the team is going to flop because I, I need to just I need to stop drinking this beer before I I flop. Um, <laughs> So I've gone with Belgian, and um, if any of you want to go into Sainsbury's and buy that brand of beer, um, feel free. It's it's vile. And if you want to to knock you out, then... <laughs> that's the one. Yeah, I've I've actually I've gone for Bex because I think Germany are going to flop. The world's biggest yeah. bottle, and I I actually thought Bex was the most Brexit beer going, but it's, it's German somehow. Go on, the going for it. Huh? Germany got a hard group, haven't they? they yeah, got, they got they got a tough group. I don't think they're France and Portugal. Right? Yeah, France and Portugal. So I'm the, I'm the going for a taste. I, it smells terrible. I'm not going to with you, my. I, I, uh, it, you know, what? it's not too bad. It's not too bad to get through it. I'll stop you right now. I'm not drinking that. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, what, what do you reckon of our predictions for flops in Belgium and Belgium and Germany? Well, I'm just getting the groups up now. Belgium obviously got an easy group. So, like, it wouldn't really be a flop for them to get out of the group. I think more of a flop will be come, like, the last 16 or something like that. So, I guess... It's like, they're going to be they're gonna be about Hazard as well. And they, what, it was yeah. the, the World Cup when he was robbed of the player of the tournament. Absolutely robbed. Um, <laughs> still, it makes me angry to this day. But... Um, you know, they wouldn't have been there without without him. Yeah. Uh, they, and they haven't they haven't really got company, they the Tongan and the, uh, this, uh, they they are the number one ranked side in the world and I just I can't see them causing much of an issue. Yeah, they, they, their like, golden era is fading out, isn't it? Yeah, that's the they, thing they've yeah. been they've been talked about for like years, aren't they? It's gonna be like the future. And they just haven't they missed I guess two thousand and eighteen, where do they get to like Semi-finals. 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 They probably should have won that tournament. In all honesty. Yeah. They, oh, yeah. they beat England, didn't they, in the third and fourth playoff? 
Yeah, they they beat. Uh, <laughs> I see you smiling as you said that. <laughs> yeah, they beat. They they lost to France, and obviously France went on to win it. So that's that's fair enough. If you're going to lose, you'd yeah. rather lose to the the team that go on and win it. But but I've got a soft spot then because obviously Roberto Martinez, quality, uh, yeah. quality Swan, guy. former Swansea manager, former Swansea the manager only, and player. So. The only good thing he's done in his career is win an FA Cup at Wigan. <laughs> yeah, and get relegated that same season. Did he? Uh, did he win the League Cup with Swansea? No, that was um, Michael Alger. Oh, no, that, oh, that, that, Alger. Year, that year was disgraceful. I don't talk about that year because how did I never kick that ball boy, little rat? <laughs> that was beautiful. Two 0 victory at Stamford Bridge, and then nil nil at the Liberty, wasn't it? But, yeah, right. probably... Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Um, <laughs> who, who, who's actually in? Wales's uh, Euros group. We've got Italy, Switzerland, and Turkey. So, <laughs> oh, you're in the mud. You're not getting, you're not getting out of <laughs> you are mudded, mate. Oh dear. But no, we're gonna we're gonna do it, boys. I think. But also, Euros are now like you can come third and then still somehow get get out of the group because they've got that. They've since last time. Oh yeah, it's best best place third ranked team, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So like, you never know. Like, well, yeah, I see us know. against Turkey, draw against Switzerland. And then win against Italy, easy. I've got tickets for that game as well. Oh, you're going to beat Italy? I hope not. I've got, I got Italy as my uh, surprise package. Oh, great. Mainly just because I like Peroni, but <laughs> we'll get on to that. We'll get on to that. I need to see uh, through this mix. The Germany, the Germany one, though, that's questionable because their Germany team is on paper. It's, and it's, it's your can load okay. tournament as well. So you think you'd go in there with more of an emphasis and more of a determination to win it. And they, the, the young talent they've got in that squad, the Sane, Mabry, Kimmich, they've got Werner, Havertz. Um, you know, I, think, I think it's Müller Mil- still playing, right? For Germany? Yeah, Müller. Yeah. They've got to be favourites to win. I can't... I can't really? I, I but, think they're going to finish third in their group. I mean, they didn't even get through their World Cup group of like Mexico, was it like Sweden and Korea? <laughs> yeah, but um, so you think they've just learned from that? They're not yeah, going to lose. Yeah, it's true. But also, if they, if they don't get out of the group, is that even a flop? Because obviously France, they won the last World Cup and then, well, Portugal um, won the last Euros, didn't they? So, yeah. they got arguably the two, two hardest teams. So, as, as good as Germany are, like, <laughs> will it be a, seen as a flop if they finish third? I mean, it's a good point. It's a good point. I think Germans would be disappointed to go out in the group stage. Yeah. So. Yeah. I don't, yeah. I mean, you got. You got. You do raise a good point, but I think. I do think they'd be disappointed not to get through the group, even if it is as tough as you mentioned. So. Plus, it was an easy pick. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a tricky one. I think. I, I think Portugal, Portugal will be struggling in that group. They do have good plays, though, don't they? Louis, how are you getting on with your Belgian beer? Eight point five percent. I put it to the side. Uh, it's a Tuesday evening, and I if I finish that off, I'm. <laughs> do, do, do you want to move on? Do you want to move on to the next one? I've already moved on to the next one, mate. What, which one have you? Which one have you gone for? Have you gone for winner or? We're, we're, we're going to go for. Uh, we're going to go for the shock, the biggest shock of the tournament. I think the team of it was going to do surprise. Do do well, yeah. I've I've gone. I think we've gone the same, haven't we? Italy. Yeah, Italy, nice, Italy. nice so You've gone with Peronia. Moretti is the superior Italian beer. Yeah, well, I agree what's, with that. what's that for? Surprise team. Yeah, because basically, I know it might not sound like a surprise when you think Italy. You know they're like a good team but they didn't they, they didn't qualify for the last World Cup and you know when you look at their team you know it's not it's not that great but I would but I know under uh, Roberto Mancini they've been like really good they barely concede any goals you know I think they qualified top of their group of like really good goal difference so oh yeah I'm going to go with Italy I'm going to go with Italy they've got players in all, in all kinds of areas that can cause problems and they've got a really good balance now outside they've got a good defence a good midfield like I said, a, a, and a manager who's experienced and the, the Italians they've got, they've got a very uh, yeah they're just well coached aren't they the Italians well coached well drilled you know it, it's going to be what, three, probably three at the back yeah 
Um, it's going to be defensively well structured, defensively well drilled. They're going to be hard to break down. They're going to be. Uh, you said you look at that group. We've got Germany, Portugal, France. One of the big teams going out there. There's potential for big teams to drop out early on in, in the tournament. So there's there's real potential really to get to the semis. I mean, who they got in their group? Oh, they got they got they got they're in the group with Wales, mate, with Turkey and um, Switzerland. Switzerland. Oh yeah, yeah. What do you think about Italy's chances then, Chris? To well, not, see, not win it, but maybe get to the final. I think I think it's a, I, to be honest, in a non-biased point of view, I think it's a great call for um, the surprise team. As in, mm. they're, 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 as you said, they haven't actually done that or even qualified for the last few tournaments. So, um, but they are they are meant to be a good side. Um, so mm. I think they will be going. And as we touched on that that tough group, like even if a team gets out of that group, the fact that they've played. What, two extra hard games than other teams that mm. that will probably be hitting them towards the end of. And I think Italy will probably be in a position to rest their players come the the Wales game, their third game, which I'm but hoping. The, the, your case. group, though, you're hoping but, for, yeah. <laughs> in all seriousness, that that Turkey Turkey Wales Switzerland group is a very good group because Switzerland are a, a side to watch. They, they were it was between them and Italy for the team. I think it's going to be a surprise. Turkey can cause a few, and 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 I paint it said Wales. <laughs> you you, you know, can't rule us out though, can you? After last no, I mean, uh, year, if, if, if they all find some form and fitness, well, both oh. Wales fly in, and then uh, obviously I'll believe... you get. Oh no, I was just going to say because obviously last tournament, sort of Wales just had it. I mean, I hate to say it, but they just sort of had the sort of team spirit and everything sort of worked well, obviously coached well under a Coleman. But do you, I don't know, what what do you think going what how optimistic are you heading into this summer's tournament as a as a yeah. Wales fan? As in I think for Wales, unlike England, it's like there's always that just extra like ten percent because of that just pride for playing for your country. Mm. And I think for England all, all these players are so divided because they're like rivaling, rivaling each other in the Premier League and stuff so often that they never really get that team spirit for Wales. Everyone, they always play for them. But I think yeah. that first tournament, it was probably the fact of the first tournament in, I think in 56 years it was. So they did that. They did better than they probably would have because of that just extra boost. I think coming into a second tournament, now that spirit's not going to be ha- happening. And obviously Ryan Giggs has been caught Doing a few dodgy deals. Yeah, I, I, I don't even know who the Welsh manager that, is. Yeah, so it's still, it's still gigs in it, but he's not managed the path to an international break. He's not doing this one either, is he? No, so Robert. Robert Why Page are you is, Yeah, <laughs> I, as in, I, I reckon we should just get rid of him now, because. Well, what would you think of the manager anyway, in general? Well, there's always been this debate for Wales because when he was a player, he never really, t- he never played these friendlies and like would like. You know, so Alex Ferguson, injured, yeah. Yeah, so Alex Ferguson would just like say he's injured when then he plays the next game for Manchester United. So Wales fans were never that keen when he actually got it. Um he's done all right, to be honest. He's 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 done all right. He hasn't had a tournament to test himself yet. So it would have been a good test, but I don't know. I, I'm thinking if Brian Goose has still got all this like dodgy dealings, then I just think like why not just bring back Coleman just for yeah, the tournament? Coleman would be huge. He did like just, really well. He he's been there. He he's done that. Yeah. He knows the team. Like just do that. You got you got to keep Ramsey and Bale fit as well. They they are huge yeah. for Wales. Ra- yeah, Ramsey's injured for tomorrow night's game. So mm. yeah, That's... like when when we played you in the friendly, I believe Ramsey and Bale weren't playing, were they? Yeah, as in like everyone was like, oh, England England walking yeah. all over the, their third team was like it was our second team as well. Because yeah, wasn't... we we won like three 0 and I was like, you know, that was. Like, yeah, it was like playing and, San Marino. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was first half was highly contested. I think second mm. half we just we we didn't we didn't play well. But that was our second team. That was probably your third team. Mm. Um, but we think we we then won our Nations League group, so we we were focusing on that. Um, yeah. So we're now up to the like top groups in the Nations League. So I guess that's a positive. Um, so even if we don't qualify like through our group for the World Cup, we can then go through the Nations League playoffs. Um, so 
quite positive we might get into the next World Cup, but we'll we'll have to see. Fingers crossed for that one. Yeah, fingers Give crossed. Give us your um, player to watch, Chris, from Wales. The well, one I, that shocks people. They're not not like a bail or a Ramsey. I the shock, the biggest surprise. Well, I think it's got. Well, I'll go for two. I'll go for two. I think what what one player has got to be my identical twin, Dan James. Dan he James. definitely looks after me a bit. I'll, I'll get the picture up in a minute. I think you've seen it. But... I, 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 I've, I've yeah. given that shout before. It does. Are you as yeah. quick as Dan James? <laughs> mate, <laughs> no mate, mate, nearly, nearly. But I think I think for United he's been overlooked. As in, it's it's hard for him because it's a pressure for playing for such a big uh, club. But watching him as for Swansea, he he was unbelievable that last season. I know it was in the Championship, but he did it against Man City as well in the FA Cup and. Like the kid, the kid's got so much talent, and I think the Euros could be really good to see him become like a, like man. Sh- a man, yeah, show himself in the world. And the fact that people playing so much focus probably on Bell on the other side, that then he's probably going to give more space, which he will love to run it into. So I think Dan James has got to be one of them, but another one, Joe Roden. I think he hasn't yeah. had enough game time at Tottenham, but he he is he is when class. He, when he played against. Uh... Chelsea and I think it was the league. Yeah, he was good. He, yeah, he played well, but he made two mistakes, didn't he? Yeah, but it was his first start and yeah. difference in the Premier League Championship. There is there is there is a quality a difference in quality. And what from what I saw though, he looked he looked decent. So the same with Spurs. Yeah, I, I love how, I love how Chris picked two ex Swansea players as well. <laughs> <laughs> it, had to be done. it had to be done. Yeah, a little, a little bit of bias in there, but like genuinely, I think Joe Roden like will be Tottenham's next captain in what like five years time. I think he'll be staying at Tottenham, and I think he'll have that centre backs position. Hopefully, his going into next season after having a great Euros, and I I, I think he's. He's he's like he's he's his class like words can't describe him. He's just so solid, and we've just seen this season. Well, our defense has been fairly good, obviously. You know, Mark Gurhey, well, what, 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 a rec- what, what a player, bit. what a player. But recently, we have we have we haven't been doing as well, and I think set piece wise, just Roden's just such a nutter. He just gets his head on everything. That last season, I think there was only two goals we conceded for us from set pieces for the whole season. Um, this year's got a bit worse now we don't have it I just think he's going to show himself Mourinho's just been Mourinho doesn't fully trust youngsters so hasn't given him as much game time as I think he deserves but he will get it at the Euros and I think Italy easy clean sheet there Joe Roden is the best a <laughs> very physical side aren't they very physical aerial ability in that, in that team but he, yeah. Roden, loves, yeah. Roden loves that. Roden will love a few elbows. And That's what you need. You need that old-fashioned centre back. What about this, this, what this about thing? our man? So, what about our man Ampadu? Yeah, Ethan, as in like. Well, he's well, just... <laughs> 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 but, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Him and me are like the opposite. Well, actually, no. But um, but yeah, Ethan Ampadu. I guess Sheffield United haven't had the best season. He started being playing quite a lot. Any recently, he's played yeah, almost every game, really. Like at the start, he, he struggled a little bit to get game time, but recently, he's been playing everything. And for Wales, he just always seems to be doing so much better. So, I remember he's when what last season he wasn't when he went on loan to Leipzig, Leipzig he, he hardly yeah. played, for he, didn't, he, he, he came played like eight games away on for Wales and played loads. You know, he's, he's a better midfielder than he is centre back, I think. Yeah, yeah, he can play in any sort of role, can't he? Yeah, yeah well, he's playing. Towards, towards, towards Sarri's time at Chelsea, when he stuck on Sarri, he played it right back. Um, <laughs> I don't know what was going on there, but no, he's a, he's a better midfielder than he's saying about. I think that shows for Wales, and like you said, when he was like, we were playing like eight games for Leipzig, you know, so it was, you know, barely played, and going to Wales and showing them you know, how good he is. He should be in Chelsea's team, really. So, Chris, do you reckon do you reckon England are going to win it then? Win, win, win with their first game, maybe against the Czech Republic. Not the tournament. <laughs> oh dear! Right. Well, you, you, you're you are favourites, aren't you? So yeah, I see that on. Um, I think it was on Twitter. We're like nine to two or something. It, it, that you? probably does factor in how there's probably loads of England nutters that just put loads of money that just makes oh, those yeah. odds go down. If you look in Germany, I bet you'd be. 
not England. Right, sorry about that, guys. Chris's uh, Wi-Fi is in the mud, so he's uh, had to switch onto his phone. Um, before we get on to talking about winners of the Euro 2021 competition, I'm just going to speak to my my friend Emilio about Spain's chances for this year's competition. All right, so hello, Emilio. How are you doing? Hi, I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah, doing all right during the lockdown. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not too, not too much. Just working as you saw with yeah. the kids and that stuff. Yeah. Right. So the the main main questions for you here is the Spanish national team. All right. Coming into the uh, Copa de Europa or whatever it is, you. Yeah. 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 Muy bien. Muy bien. Copa de Europa. Yes. Yeah. So you're in a group with. Sweden, Poland, Slovakia, correct? Yes. Do you reckon you can uh, get through that? Yes, <laughs> I, I don't think Spain uh, should have any trouble there. As, uh, they are the strongest team in that group, obviously. Yeah. But uh, to be honest, we, uh, we, have, uh, we are in a transition year. as so We have too, new, too many new players. And Poland has got to a few very, very top players. Mm. So, and Sweden as well, but Slovakia it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. Uh, Slovakia as well, yeah. So, but it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned the, um, the, the transitional sort of team and the tra- transitional year. Because yeah. I, spoke I spoke to you last week, didn't I, about the team? Yes, and uh, have... some of the people I just didn't recognise their names whatsoever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, what? I know. Well, uh, I know it's hard for English people who is always <laughs> following the English football, the Premier League. They are not going to know, obviously, Dani Olmo or maybe uh, Pedro. Well, Pedro Porro is is not it's not to you know it's it's, it's not. A uh, very famous p- uh, player in Spain. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I've ne- but... never heard of him. I was disappointed not to see, uh, you know, Aspelacueta. But you know. oh yeah, <laughs> I know. I, I was, I was disappointed too because I, I really, th- I really think uh, he's doing a massive, good season this mm-hmm. year. So he, he deserved it, but it's what it is. Yeah, because I, I looked at the obviously, like we said, looked at the team for the the World Cup qualifiers. Yeah, and I I don't really know who's uh, who's going to be starting. To be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, well, that's that's a big question as well for yeah. the Spanish people, I guess. Uh, you know, all the players right now in in the Sp- in the national team are more or less the same level. There, there is not yeah. an yes, there is not a Xavi, who uh, you know uh, is going to be uh, was was going to be playing since yeah. uh, since the start of the match, but I um, I have I have my first eleven in mind, so I get, I think I yeah. think as well Luis Enrique will will do it. Yeah, former Barcelona boss as well. Yeah, yeah. Well, curiously, he didn't pick too many players from Barcelona, just two, I think, or three. Yeah. Pedro, Jordi Alba and Busquets, maybe. Busquets, yeah. I can't believe Busquets is still playing football. Yeah. <laughs> I swear, he's been playing. He must, he must be about 50. <laughs> <laughs> he's not that old. He looks like, but he's yeah, not. He's just been around forever. I think he's about, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he's 30 years old, 32, something like that. Noah Dama Traore as well. I don't um, What do Spanish people think of him? Because he's... I he's know. not that good, is he? He's not that good. He's not that good. <laughs> he's a physical player. Yeah. But, uh, but Luis Enrique, I'm, I, I really think Luis, Luis Enrique is a great manager, and yeah. he he knows he knows very well what he's doing. So Adama Traore, it's not it's not that good player, but he will he will have his role on the team. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, how far do you think? Enrique can take Spain in in the Euros this summer. <laughs> Realistically, what being would you honest, what? Realistic, yeah, being on his hundred. What would you be happy with? I think, I think I'll be happy if he if he um, gets in the quarter of finals. Yeah. And in Europe, it's very hard to it's very yeah. hard to get there. You got yeah, too many sure. good teams like 
Germany, uh, France, England is my England, yes. And this England is my favorite <laughs> one. And it, it's not because you're English uh, and I'm living here, but uh, I think they are the favorites uh, for this uh, European Championship. Um, and I'll be, I'm, I'll be glad to get in the quarterfinals. So I, I'm going to say that. Yeah. Yeah, that'll yeah. be that. That'll be good for uh, for Spain, especially after uh, yes. the World Cup as well. I... Yeah, it's, it's strange with Spain. I don't really know what I'm going to get because I look at the team and think it's not, you know, it's not what it once was. No. But then, like you pointed out the other day, you beat Germany. Was it six one? Six nil, I think. Six nil, yeah, and Fer and Torres. Yes. Yeah. So that that's why. That's why I think um, we can we can do something, but mm. I don't think we can we can win. Honestly, being honest with with the team is not it's not enough. We got Thiago, okay. We got Rodri. I mean, I'm, I'm talking about like the top players in the in the national team yeah. right now. They are the top players, and and I think they are they are good. They are very good, but they're not good enough to. Yeah. Nah. No, there's some good midfielders actually, to be fair. When yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. But, uh, you know, you know, the Spanish problem is always the same. They they keep the ball very well, but they don't have they don't score. Uh, <laughs> they don't score. Yeah. <laughs> I need to get Diego Costa out of wherever he's hiding. Oh yeah, no, thank you. Bang him in there. Put your name forward. You could do a job up there. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't. I don't want to talk about here in too fair. <laughs> uh, useless for Spain. Diego yeah, Costa was good in Chelsea. Was good in Chelsea because probably the the, the way to play uh, helps him, but it doesn't help with Spain. It's mm. not it's not his place. Yeah, Spain's more like technical. neither is Morata. In my opinion, neither is Morata. Morata, is, I think, is very bad. Uh, in really? every single team, <laughs> he wouldn't mm. fit in any team. So. He was he was at Chelsea as well, but. He started yeah. off well, but then yeah, then, right. So yeah, yeah it's like he's scoring a hat trick and that, and then yeah. and then you 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 realize the the the, the true. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't very good, <laughs> but <laughs> thanks for um, enlightening me on your your thoughts on the Spanish national team. Um, final mm. question: Who's going to be the the player to watch for Spain? I'm in Spain. Yeah, who's who's the who's the danger man? Who's the? I think uh, who's going to be your best player? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know, I know. Yeah. I, I'm thinking, mate, because it's it's. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they are more or less the same level players. There is not mm. like a special one. But I I would say probably Thiago is going to get more. Uh, the you know the how you call it protagonismo like it's gonna get the it's gonna get the attention, get attention, the attention yeah. of the people guys because when he used to play with Iniesta and Xavi and Busquets around him obviously you didn't really it's see nice how, him, yeah. how good he is because Iniesta was next to him and it's, it's too much you know uh, but I think Thiago uh, yeah. That's gonna be my 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 pick one. Yeah, Spain's best player for the Euros. I right. think so. yeah, Thiago. I, I can go along with that. He's a good player. He's a good player. Mm -hmm. yeah, and for Liverpool now, so I see him. Yeah. <laughs> see him every week after. Well, I actually saw him for the first time ever when mm -hmm. Bayern Munich played us last season. Oh yes. And we got we got ripped to pieces. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that match. Yeah. You really lost the you you really lost the, the how you call it the legs right the legs the legs yeah you you really lost it in the first match yeah exactly yeah in Stamford Bridge that was, we, that, we that was just went there for a piss up <laughs> I didn't expect that at all honestly I, I I was like okay Chelsea at home uh, probably probably two one yeah. uh, to to Bayern Munich because they are too good but I didn't expect that result yeah. that we. That was the first time I've ever been Stamford Bridge and watched a team completely tear us apart. Yeah, yeah, like you, you couldn't do anything, right? <laughs> yeah, no. Nah. Right, let's talk about winners for the tournament. And obviously my beer may have had a slight issue. 
No, 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 no. You got it all the way from Portugal, didn't you? No, here we are, here we are. Yeah, here we are, yeah. So I picked Portugal, went into Sainsbury's. I think the two Portuguese beers I was looking for were Sagres and like Super Bock or something. Didn't have either of them. So I got a uh, a Portuguese Budweiser. <laughs> if, you, if you're going to call me a liar, then, you know. Budweiser's you know, not Portuguese. No, Chris, it's a Portuguese Budweiser. Look, if you keep telling lies about me. Right, anyway, Louis, what you got? <laughs> I've gone with the, um, I've gone with a Kronborg. France, France. Uh, they're going to win the Euros, I think. Um, their team on their team on paper is just something else, something else. They've got obviously they've got the, they've got Drew up front, one of them. But they've got like the Griezmann, they've got Pogba, they've got some Carno in the fit. Fans have got uh, okay. The reach is a question for one in goal, but they they're just they're still their team is stacked for the talent. I think. Oh, oh who, could you, who, who, who could you forget as well? A completely forgot about um, Martial and uh, Beppe. Martial. <laughs> <Beppe. laughs> it's that Belgian beer, it's come straight to, the, straight to my head. But no, uh, uh, they've got to be the favourites. I can't see any team other than them winning it. I think maybe it'd be them in the Germany Germany final, and they're, they're just edge Germany for me. Well, no, I, I think again, like, on paper that you think they're the favourites but I just think that group's just so hard that it's just going to take so much out of them Portugal and Germany that I'm ruling out I'm ruling them all out I, oh. I, just, I just think oh. he, what, one of the facts you just can't call who's going to come out of that group so then it, yeah. one of them's going to miss out and then the second thing is that I just think it's just going to those games are like finals in itself and you're playing two of those in the in the group stages, that's not what you want, no. um, especially during this COVID this year. So then, oof, then there's not many other teams to choose from, is there? Um, who are you, who are you picking to win? Dark horse is going to win this year, then yeah. So you're thinking Sorry? Like a surprise. You, you think like a dark horse is going to win it this year? Maybe like a North Macedonia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if North Macedonia, we will give you pay for grand. I swear. <laughs> who are you actually picking for the winner, though, Chris? Enough about North Macedonia. Um, yeah, not North Macedonia. I reckon you obviously. He obviously, wants to say England. <laughs> he wants to say England. Uh, England won't do it. England won't do it. I like your shout of Italy. I think I think it could be a team like something like that. Hmm. Um, obviously, they've got us in their group. Maybe even a Holland. Even, yeah. I, I reckon obviously dependent on Van Dijk coming back. Um, Van Dijk. Probably should have given this one more thought. I, I, you don't think Van Dijk's back? When's he back? He won't. I don't think he'll play it. No, uh, he, uh, he might be back for years. But I think Liverpool would, would cry about it and probably yeah. find a way to stop him going. Because yeah, true. What, what about uh, Croatia? Are they in the Euros? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, know. I, 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 I don't think I don't think they'll do. It. I think I think they again kind of like a Wales in 2016 at this tournament. Like they they had a great tour in 2018. I think that that's the that's their best push gone. Uh, I don't yeah. think they're better. Ma- I don't think they'll be able to match it. And I think, I, I yeah, you ruled out Belgium earlier, but I think Belgium could be up there. I think I just yeah, I, I really think Roberto Martinez is just a class manager, and I think he's had that World Cup tournament to like get to know his squad. And not many not many managers actually usually tend to it's see how he's gone. Yeah. But, so. I reckon I reckon he's got a chance, and I just think it is going to be a surprise kind of package. Yeah. I don't think either Portugal, Germany, or France. I just think it's just going to take such a toll out of them that they're not going to do it. So I think I think it could be a Belgium, even though they're what, number one in the world. That would be a surprise. I think not many people would back them. Um, mm-hmm. Plus, Louis actually Croatia in our group, so. <laughs> No, I'm Croatia, really Czech Republic, and Scotland, aren't it? Yeah, I, I think we'll get through that. I think we'll top the group. I'm gonna say it now. Well, I think like it's not difficult. Well, I guess Croatia is a hard game. Um, but well, you experienced that in 2018, didn't you? Yep. Thanks for that. Jeez, I like to have one of those swords. You've been drinking out of a glass this whole time, and I've just been slogging it from a bottle. Uh, yeah, but you bottled right. one of your beers, mate. You were crying because I only had two. Oh. Are you gonna? I'll drink two. I, I bet. Well, no, but I had a beer before we started. I had a San Miguel. 
No, I want to see. I want to see you neck that that Belgian beer now. You know the guy off. You know the guy give off me TikTok. Odds, give me odds. Give me odds. Give me odds. All right, I'll give you one to five. Is this five. is this all, is this in the um, podcast? Gonna be? Yeah, oh, massive is down in the podcast. Good, 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 good. <laughs> okay, all right, one to five, yeah. All right. Oh yeah. Three, two, one, three. Three. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh, it was a delay. It was a delay. No. No, it's not a delay. You both said at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that's not all of it, is it? <laughs> <laughs> is he there? I can't see his... I can't see I reckon his. I reckon there's a bit more. <laughs> Oh, fuck, quite a bit. Oh, my God. Ready for war, <laughs> I've absolutely... I've murked him as well, because I literally heard him say three, and I went, three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to... Oh, I've got to do it for the culture, mate. Yeah, it's for the culture. Absolutely. Let's talk about the predictions, because I want to talk about them, as I won 7-4 this week. Oh... Out of how many? So we do we do one point for like the correct sort of um, who wins or if it's a draw, and then two points if you get the score correct. And I got two correct scores. Louis got one correct score. So across the season, we've only been doing it now. Obviously, this is this is the fifth week. I am twenty three to thirteen ahead. So do you know what my fourth is probably going to be? Knowing you, you're going to just you're going to ignore what everyone says listening at home, and you know, or, or Chris Adam or whoever gives suggestions. You're going to ignore that. You're going to maybe go to fucking on Sainsbury's and buy like twenty Belgian beers or something. <laughs> yeah, that's Season a off. really good one, actually. We we've banned shaven head because we can't lose the iconic afro. So no, this is the, this is three years of hard. No, oh, it's longer three years. Now. Just look at it. It's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, so, for, so for this week's sixty-second predictions, we're going to do the home nations. Obviously, can't do all the internationals because I'm not guessing what the score is going to be between Latvia and Montenegro because that is just pointless. Oh, two 0 Latvia. <laughs> two oh, We're going to do five home nations: Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Scotland, Wales, England, it's Belgium at home to Wales World Cup qualifier. I'm uh, gonna go. I'm gonna go two nil Belgium. Sorry, Chris. <laughs> yeah, I'm also gonna go two nil Belgium. Chris, okay, okay. one one. Well, uh, another World Cup qualifier: Serbia, Republic of Ireland. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go one all. Mm, I'm feeling nil nil. Nil nil. nil, nil. nil, nil. That's a brave one. That's a brave one. I'm going against home nation. I'm thinking 2 0 Serbia. The big one. England San Marino. What a, what a game. I think we're going to win that 4 0. I'm going to go 6 0 Mason and hat trick. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll tell you, if that actually happens, we'll give you 10 Three points. Point. 10 points. Oh, no, wait. Um, Put your bets on it. Put your bets on it. Mason and hat trick. Oh, yeah, I reckon England's going to run home. I think, yeah, I reckon 6 0 is a good shout. Um, I'll, go, I'll, I'll go one more. 7-0. I reckon they're just going to... Next one, then. Massive deflection on the way into the net. Ma- no, nah, Mason Mount don't get deflections, mate. What are you talking about? Oh. Right, ne- ne- next one. Italy, Northern Ireland. I think I'm going to go 1-0 Italy. Um, I'm going to say only 2-0 Italy. Yeah, I think Northern Ireland actually always seems to be a tough test, actually. Um, 2-1. And the last one, Scotland home to Austria. I think 2-2. Two, two. I'm going to go with 1-0. Go one all. One all. Oh, I'm going 1-0 I'm going Austria. Oh, 1-0. So me and Louis sat on the fence there and Chris gone 1-0 Austria. Fair play. And that, that wraps up the uh, the home nation predictions. Well, just for this weekend, anyway. Obviously, more internationals, which we'll cover next week. Hopefully, England pick up, you know, 10 goals, two Mason Mount hat tricks. 
One of the two Mason Mount traits. Mason Mount is the goat. He's the greatest player that was that we've ever seen. You know what would be funny is if Chris gets all the run overtakes Louis. I don't even know if it's possible. <laughs> but... <laughs> I'm firmly on the road. I'm going to have to go to Sainsbury's and buy some Belgian beer because I know it's going to come. <laughs> Tell you what, uh, on, on a real, the first, because uh, we've I already mentioned it before, but <laughs> the, the, the first the, the night that we all have after COVID, I'm bringing Belgian beer. <laughs> <laughs> the, fir- the first night out. Oh, the one night. that you had today? Yeah, yeah, the one I had today, we're going to uh, death that night. We're going we're gonna to take it down waterfront, pour it down Adam's neck. <laughs> well, we actually won't even get into waterfront, mate. <laughs> All right. Anyway, we'll wrap it up there before we start going about our nights out or possible nights out. So uh, thanks for watching. Thank you, Chris, for for joining us. No, thank oh, you, Chris, for coming on. We're we're, we're trying to get more guests. So we I've got one planned, hopefully for next week. Yeah. So we'll uh, hopefully. Fingers see, crossed. See, see what happens there. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you all next week. Tell who's on the ground. 25 shows to the back.